Good evening, and thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. The renovations were supposed to be finished by late 2021. Right. Well, now we're looking at spring of 2023 at the earliest. And Denver 7's Micah Smith is looking into the problem and possible solutions. And Michael, Micah, tests show that there are flaws in the very foundation of this project. That's exactly right, Ann and Shannon. The developer for this project, Great Hall Partners, told airport officials they found weak concrete in the main floor. Great Hall Partners says fixing the problem pushes the project's completion date back to May 2023. Traveling through Denver International Airport takes some extra time these days. Some certain doors aren't open. It's harder to get to the trains. It's hard to get to the luggage. It is a lot of space that they're taking up. And passengers will have to maneuver around this space for the next couple of years. Great Hall Partners, the contractor for this project, told airport officials they found weak concrete. GHP added another 18 months to fix the problem and to complete the new retail space and security checkpoint. I've been on a lot of projects. I've seen, I've seen my fair share of change orders. I have never seen one go this far, uh, I mean, so quickly upside down. Denver City Councilman Rafael Espinoza, who voted against the contract for this project in 2017, says he has a few questions for airport officials and Great Hall partners. Which party is the source for the conflicts? You know, why are we going so far south so early in a project? Because, and is it salvageable? As a licensed architect, Espinoza says whatever the answers to those questions, he already has a feeling about who will pay the price. Whenever you overspend on projects such as a hotel or now this sort of retailization of the Great Hall, that takes away from all the other needs of the airport. And so what do we have to do? We have to charge each one of those 60 to 80 million people that are flying in and out of there another buck. DIA sent us a statement which reads in part, the projected schedule the represents their estimates, but does not include the airport's review and analysis or ways to mitigate. Several city council members told me they have an executive session planned with airport officials tomorrow to go over the airport's findings. Live from DIA, Micah Smith, Denver 7.